UK, the dirty, rotten scoundrel with no argument, uh, wants to argue some more. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to play his clips because really there's no way to point out just how insipid, circular, self-contradictory his arguments are than to show his argument. I mean, it's, you know, it is that vacant. And uh, I think this is a good discussion to have just because this is the rhetoric. This is the rhetoric that's controlling the world. And it's rhetoric that's, you know, easily destroyed, logically. I mean, it really has no foundation, no basis, no merit whatsoever. And it's, people have only just bought this superficial lie. And I know people aren't watching these videos very, you know, they're not viewed very highly. Um, but, you know, this is important stuff, because this is what's making the world go round, is these canards, these delusions, that this is, you know, that people think certain things equal other things, and they don't. And so, let's show the equation for what it is. And we're back. Johnny Capitalism here to talk about a couple of economic issues that were addressed in the Mendham six-part reply. If I reply in the same way that he replied to me, it's going to end up to be about a six-hour talk, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to try and narrow it down to 11 minutes, maybe 12, 22 minutes if that takes that long, but who cares? Let's move into it. I quickly want to just jump onto this labor thing, because, or the, the, the whole labor thing. Um, I, I do value the life of human beings. I see that humans are more important to us than corn. I, I value people's lives. Uh, but yeah, in, in my market system, you call it my market system, but it's in fact all of the United States, the Canada's, Europe's market system, um, they value it a little bit differently in terms of the, how they're paid. So uh, it is determined in the same way that a piece of corn would be determined in terms of price. Hey, look, you ignore, you're again just ignoring it. You're just ignoring the subject. You've got your stupid chart there again. There's no point in putting it there. All right, we don't establish a minimum price for corn or a minimum price for rice or a minimum price for other commodities. So it's a stupid argument. And and to, to make even and to even justify it in any way that 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 you know the system the market can take care of this without regulation is stupid. Somebody um, was talking about um, the exact minimum wage and the exact act that was passed to give a minimum wage. Okay, fine. You want to talk about that? Let me just show you the implications of minimum wage. I understand it's minimum wage. I know that. Well, what? I'm just going to speed this part up. This is just bullshit. I don't. I don't need your stupid charts, asshole. So that's that's even what makes your argument even stupider. Is that you're so patronizing and simplistic, and you think I make fucking part J now if I didn't know what the fuck I'm talking about? So I don't need you to explain this bullshit. All right, if you, that's why you're just wasting my time. That's why I have to make six fucking parts. It's because you won't discuss the fucking issue. You'll sit there and tell me, well, you know, I have to explain leaves to you. Leaves are green. You see the green color? Well, that's a refraction of the light. Fuck you! Get to the goddamn point. All right, so now you're going to argue, all right, that, uh, that, that uh, uh, minimum wages uh, destroy or cause unemployment. No, know what they cause? Unslavery. They cause Un unexploitation. They cause unabuse of human beings. That's what they cause, asshole. It's not employment when you go below a certain wage, okay? It's just outright fucking exploitation and abuse. It's a crime, asshole. So that's what the goddamn minimum wage does. It stops crimes from being committed. The market were to work the way it normally should work, or normally would work, then um, people will be paid a lot less in certain jobs that aren't as important, uh, aren't as valued. People will get paid uh, a lot less than the, whatever the minimum wage is. So the government come, comes in and says, no, we don't make that much. And it's a good thing. I don't think the minimum wage is... Look, asshole, it's not about valuing jobs. It's about valuing laborers. We don't value the human beings. That's what you assholes miss. You don't value the human beings. Okay, you say, well, it's about the job. And if there's enough desperation to force people to do it for 10 cents an hour, then you win. That's bullshit, okay? It's irrational, it's uncivilized, it's, it, it, it is, it's, like I said, what's worse? What's, what's, it's cannibalism. It's eating your own kind, you ass wipe. I think some people would disagree with me, but I think that minimum wage is perfectly fine to have. Government says, all right, look, this is the minimum we want people to work for. 
They draw the line. Look, you see, so you, you just can see the argument. It's perfectly fine to have. It causes what you say is unemployment, but somehow your chart is still valuable. Your chart loses value because we had to artificially um, lift the minimum wage. And it's a minimum wage, asshole. It's not a fucking human wage. It's not a decent wage. It's not an ethical wage. It's a minimum wage, okay? Arbitrarily established by what the uh, human race will tolerate at this moment in its cultural mindset history. All right? And the fact that we are sadistic enough to think that, you know, $7.50 an hour, 50 cents an hour is good enough is complete bullshit. But then I'm going to say there'd be more uh, slavery and so on and so forth. So, you know, whatever. I just wanted to point out that, yes, I do understand the minimum wage stuff. I understand the government sets it. All right. So whatever. Who cares about that? <laughs> Great line. Exactly. Who cares about that? That just sums it up perfectly. All right. Yeah, there'd be more slavery, more... Ex but, well, whatever. Who cares about that? <laughs> Fuck you, idiot. It's clear to me that the amendment just has different values than I do. Uh, somebody, won't, somebody posted a comment on my video a minute ago. And I, I think I have a qualitatively better intelligence than you do. That's the argument I'm going to make. You want to call them values, that's okay. But we derive those through intelligence and logic. Your intelligence and your logic suck. You know, he's angry that, you know, he said he's really good at economics. And, you know, it pisses him off to see somebody... To think somebody else doesn't know anything about the economy when um, they advocate different values, all right, whatever. But, you know, here's something that Amendum doesn't understand, all right? Amendum, you have, let's just talk about the meat issues. I, like I said, I'm probably going to miss some things, but, you know, you talk about a wall, and we keep dumping debt behind this wall, and eventually it's going to come and crash because it can't be held up forever. All right, fine. Let's look at the debt. Let's look at the actual facts. Like, what is the... Uh, I'm going to just cut some of this stuff out. Forget it. I mean, just, this goes on and on about this bullshit. So I'll just get to when he says the pertinent sentences, and I'll kill him on those. If you could decrease the government debt by either decreasing government spending or increasing taxes, or a combination of the two. Yeah, right. <laughs> and when will anybody ever a vote elect somebody who's going to do that? Either unemploy a bunch of people, or... or um, you know, tax a bunch of people. Those are the two choices there. Okay, just just be clear on those two choices. Because when you, if you cut spending, all right, that spending was going to people who are making a living off of it, and they're not going to be able to make that living anymore, right, asshole? By the individuals in the banks. Um, or uh, no, as we've established, it's not paid off. Okay, the liability for the debt is being paid by the fucking consumers. You dumb shit. Businesses in the banks. You say you say that somehow customers are are paying some of this, and uh, you know, yeah, I guess you could say it's a cost of doing business. Interest is a cost of doing business, so you know, the prices of all the products in the industry, in the economy, are going to be slightly higher to pay for this. And okay, sure, but that's always been a cost of business, doing business. Um, so. Private debt is not debt that's getting accumulated that everyone is going to be responsible for. That's only between the banks and the uh, individuals. And, and why keep saying that? Why keep saying it's only between the banks and the individuals? When, when you just pointed out that it's not. That the liability is the, the consumers and the government ends up with the liabilities, and which is the people. So either way, the people end up with the liabilities. You've conceded that that exists, and then you'll sit there and make the goddamn statement like it isn't goddamn true. Fuck. Because of inflation, because prices increase, to look at the public debt is to compare it to a percentage of what the economy produces each year. It keeps the value real. Um, so if you look at, it, at, at the public debt as a percentage of GDP, you'll see that in real terms, we're actually paying off that public debt since the 1950s. It's, we, we, we're better off now in terms of public debt than we were before. Even an incredible statement. We're actually paying it off by increasing it. Because you say inflation has destroyed it. Ten trillion dollars, asshole. Ten trillion dollars. You know how much that buys? That buys the investment capital, the amount people own in their all their fucking homes in this country. That's what it's equal to, you dumb shit. You know, uh, it's just it's a stupid argument to be making. It's not a percentage of GDP is irrelevant. What the only number that's relevant is is how much is that debt compared to the real value of a fucking greenback of a dollar? 
how much debt is it compared to the real value of a dollar? And my point is, my argument here is that GDP number, the whole perception of growth, the whole perception of the strength of our economy has been inflated artificially by printing money excessively and injecting a bunch of artificial fucking growth and artificial fucking um, strength in the economy that doesn't really exist. All right. And when the real number comes down, you're going to find that the, you know, that 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 is going to be monstrous. All right. When the economy goes to its its real level, when the real estate market goes to its real value, when the stock market goes to its real value, that debt is going to do exactly the fucking opposite. It's going to go from this to this. It's going to be monstrous.